My name is Graham Virgo. I'm Professor of English Private Law at the University of Cambridge and Fellow of Downing College at Cambridge. I have just written a book called The Principles of Equity and Trusts and I want to say a few words about what motivated me in writing this book and the four key aims that I bore in mind as I was researching and preparing the book. The first aim was bearing in mind that law students tend to find equity and the law of trust to be a difficult subject. I wanted to make the book as accessible as possible. But crucially, I didn't want to dumb down in any way. In making the book accessible, I've tried to make the text as clear as possible. I've ensured that footnotes are not too long. If there is a citation of a, a, a leading case, I've used that case and not filled the footnotes with loads of other cases making exactly the same point. I also try, wherever possible, to use hypothetical examples so that students reading the book can see how the law can apply in practice. But crucially, I didn't want to dumb down at all. The law of equity and trusts is complicated, it's uncertain and controversial. And I didn't want to smooth over the controversies and the difficulties, but to draw them out so that the student reading the book can see that there are difficulties, there are uncertainties, and they can try themselves to work out possible solutions to these problems. The second aim is that I wanted to reflect some of the recent dramatic developments in the law and the analysis of that law. Probably the most significant developments relate to the growing law of restitution and the law of unjust enrichment in particular. Now, I've previously written a book on the principles of the law of restitution, so I'm probably well placed to be able to incorporate recent developments in that body of law and reflect that in a book on equity and trusts. But in doing so, I haven't wanted to make it seem that the law of restitution and unjust enrichment take over the law of trusts and equity. Instead, where restitution and unjust enrichment is relevant and useful, I've explained the relevance and significance. But I've also emphasised that there are plenty of areas within equity and trusts where the law of restitution and unjust enrichment simply should not go. It is of no relevance to our understanding. I know from my own teaching experience that students find the incorporation of a lot of the learning on restitution and unjust enrichment to be particularly difficult. So incorporating that in my text and commenting on it, I hope will explain to the students how restitution and unjust enrichment is of some significance to equity and trusts. The third aim of the book is to draw out the practical significance of equity and trusts, to show the student reading the book that what they're reading may involve some very old cases, some very old law, but it is of real practical significance today, particularly in the commercial world. And the fourth and final aim of the book has been to comment on the work of academics and the contributions of judges, to show that there are various controversies, both practical and theoretical, and to engage with some long-standing debates about the nature of the subject, about the underlying principles and the aims of the subject. Where there are academic controversies, I've tried to illustrate those controversies and also comment on them so that the student reading the book can identify what some of the key controversies are and possible solutions to them. But throughout in the book, I've sought to make a very clear distinction between description and statement of law and criticism and analysis of that law. I do quite often identify my own opinion, but throughout the book try and make it clear that what is my opinion 
and what is the law. Students who are studying equity and trusts often find that this is a subject that they find difficult and rather alien, perhaps. Equity to them is like a foreign country where things are done differently. What I've tried to do in my book is to give them a guidebook to be able to explore this foreign country, to give them the terminology, the principles, and the analytical tools to be able to explore the country and just to see what an exciting country equity and trusts actually is.